So today, I'm going to show you my underpants. When it comes to hiking gear, most of us usually focus on the essentials, such as boots, backpack, tent, sleeping bag, that type of thing. But what if I told you that there was another essential that often gets overlooked? Today I will be talking about underwear. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, underwear, is it really that important to hiking? But hear me out here. Now before I go any further with this video, I do want to say that I will be recommending a product to you. Now I don't work for this company, I'm not linked to them in any way, I'm not receiving any money from them or any sponsorship and I have no affiliation whatsoever. It's simply a product that I recommend and that I use. So with that, let's get on with the video. Okay, so when I first started hiking, the underwear that I generally wore was something along these lines. It's your bog standard trunks um, that you would get from any kind of supermarket. They're relatively cheap. They're made from like a cotton, polyester type mix, I would imagine. Um, elasticated waistband, just your bog standard undies to be fair. And most people probably find that okay and that's fine. But I found that if I was doing anything more than like a day walk, like a few hours, um, it just they just weren't ideal. You would sweat, um, there'd be a certain amount of chafing. Um, because they weren't particularly tight, they would ride up, which would cause discomfort. Um, if you were doing something like, say, the West Highland Way, something that's 96 miles over a certain amount of days, I don't think this is ideal. Again, it may be okay for some people, but I just wanted something a little bit different. So next up, I went for these. These are your compression style shorts. Um, they're by a company called La Passa. And they're pretty good for stopping the likes of your underwear riding up. Um, they cling to you very well, almost like cycling shorts or like compression under armour type base layer stuff. Um, they're handy for that. But again, I found they weren't very good for wicking away sweat. Um, you get quite clammy. They weren't very breathable. Again, okay for a day or maybe two days. But if you're doing any kind of distance walking, nah, it just wasn't perfect. It was better. It was an improvement, but wasn't perfect. So my third choice, and to be honest, what I thought was going to be my final choice, was this. These are merino wool shorts. Merino is, or merino wool is a cracking material. It's all natural, it wicks away sweat, it keeps you cold in the warm, it keeps you warm in the cold. But I just generally found these weren't tight enough. If you look at the last shorts I talked about, the compression shorts, they, they clung to you, so you didn't have them riding up. Again, I had the problem with these riding up and that caused chafing and it caused lack of comfort. And again, if you're walking over long distances, that's really an issue you don't want to be dealing with. So although these were the best, sorry, although these were the best of the bunch so far, they just weren't perfect. I still needed something else. Now this brings me on to my fourth choice, my final choice, and what I think is the best underwear you can possibly wear if you're going hiking. Step one, shorts. Now, you've probably seen these advertised on TV. The advertisements are everywhere, and I thought I'd give them a bash. So before we go any further, let me just say again that I'm not making any money from this video. I am not benefiting in any way. I just really rate this product. They are super comfortable pants, and they're perfect for hiking, to be honest. So let's go over some of the reasons why. First off, let me just say, these are super, super comfortable. Like I've worn these on long, long walks and you just generally forget that you're wearing them. Um, they're super soft and they cling to you, but not in a, an invasive way, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, just super, super comfortable, clean off the bat. Um, also something I want to mention is the Ultra Glide panel, uh, they call it. It's like, I suppose you could compare it to base layer material or like cycling short material, 
and it covers the groin area here and it prevents any kind of friction, any kind of chafing um, and it also doesn't ride up. Um, it's great. So what else can I say about them? They have a comfortable elasticated waistband. It clings to you but not in an invasive way and something which is a really big selling point for me is there is no labels on the inside. Something I can't stand with underwear is when you get a label in the back and it just sticks into you and it scratches you. Don't have to worry about that here. Um, also, let me show you this. Does anyone suffer from swamp ass? If you're walking on a hot day, gets a bit clammy down there, you know what I'm talking about. This little mesh at the back here, you might not be able to see it in this camera, but there's a mesh right at the top, sits right at the top of your butt crack, and it lets the air in and out, it lets it breathe. No swamp pass. Kiss swamp pass goodbye. So what else has this underwear got going for it? Well, I'll need to turn these inside out to show you. Now, most men's underwear is flat at the front with a flap, and that's not exactly ideal when it comes to ergonomics. But if you look at these, they have this little pouch at the front. I don't know if you can see it. Now they call it the Elasticated 3D Comfort Pouch. And it is really good. It's really comfortable. Um, if you're walking long distances, the last thing you want is for your junk to be getting rubbed. Oh, I really shouldn't have said that. The last thing you want is for your junk to be getting rubbed. So to speak. So yeah, so this prevents that. It's really, really comfortable. And again, if you're doing loads and loads of miles, that's the type of thing you're wanting. So I know a lot of you are probably thinking, but isn't merino wool better because it wicks away sweat and it controls temperature? Well, these are made of bamboo and bamboo also wicks away sweat. Bamboo is breathable. Bamboo is also antibacterial and very, very ecological. So yeah, I will stick with these. So are there any other selling points to these step one pants? Well, yeah the company itself. Let me just grab my phone. So the company says it's dedicated to standing by its ethics policy by having a low carbon footprint. All step one factories are either BSCI or SA8000 accredited, which means fair wages, fair working conditions, no forced labour and no child labour. Something else I would like to show you is this. This is the bag that they come in. So they're compostable, which again, it's ethical, it's economical. Let me just open this up. So I've bought a lot of these. I actually wear these every day now because they're that comfortable. For everyday use, for hiking, they're just great. This is a white pair. But the thing is, you can buy one pack or sorry, you can buy one pair, try them out, and if you don't like them, the company will let you keep them anyway. Um, and that's that's like their guarantee. But yeah, it comes in this compost, comp compostable bag. They're just, they're great. Again, I would just like to say for a third time, I'm not being paid for this. I just really, really like the product and I think you will too. So give them a try. Let me know if you tried them out. Um, is there a specific type of underwear that you wear when you go out walking? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you found this video helpful or entertaining, or if you just want to check out some of my other videos, then please think about subscribing. It would really, really help and it really makes a difference. Okay, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And hope that wasn't too weird talking about pants.